Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Great Taz once again. Here I am in Erlenburg in my Indian Panzer, platooned up with one of my uh, clan mates, LJY Killer, and his T 34 3. <clears throat> this is a, uh, a good game. Uh, as you can see when I hit tab here, uh, we have no heavies in the tier 8 frame, um, unless you consider the T, the, uh, the T26 E4, or the Super Pershing, uh, heavy. Um, and then after that, we really have zero heavies in the whole game. Uh, everything is a medium, uh, they have exactly one, you know, like I said, the E4, the per Super Pershing 2, three, four heavies. Uh, now we do have a higher number of TDs. Um, I'm only holding this because there's nothing really happening in the first couple seconds of a battle anyways. And anyone who's played a while, whoop, there's someone dinged and was spotted. So I'll let go. Oh, of course. Uh, the patent KR, the Cromwell spotted me and the patent KR is taking pot shots at me. Talk about crap. But anyways, that's just the... Uh, I don't even know if I have the top engine on this tank when I play this game uh, because the top engine is the top engine in the RU. I switch it back and forth um, when we were doing uh, the campaign. Uh, so I may have left the top engine in the RU uh, and actually played this game. But you see here, start pegging at the uh, M6 uh, US tier 6 heavy um, doesn't stand a chance and of course someone comes along and steals kill that's alright I got the damage and it's not all about I don't know why my freaking chat board's doing that. It's doubling for some reason. I, I don't know. <clears throat> I haven't seen it do that in a while. So, uh, here I'm trying to get a good shot. I'm trying to keep a little out of scope. Ah, there's a 34-100. One good shot. Someone else is shooting at it. Don't know who. Boom. Dead. There's one kill. Well, let's keep continuing on and see how many more I get. <clears throat> um, the Indian Panzer, when it first came out, was really... A tier 8 medium low. Um, they have made many modifications to it, um, nerfing the armor and stuff. And as of right now, the Thane has 90 millimeter frontal armor, um, both in the turret and in the uh, hull. Um, which is really funny about the tank is the hull and turret armor, top turret, have the same armor all the way around. It's like 90, 60, and 60. Um, it's not a really heavy armored German tank. So you can't play it like your heavy um, armored German tanks. The best thing about it is the gun depression. It has a negative 10 degrees gun compression. Um, which makes uh, it really a huge thing for getting over hills. Um, a second thing about the Indian Panzer is all of its guns are highly accurate um, and its top gun is got really good pen so as you can say um, LJ here uh, he got a he got the T32 after it's been whittled down um, so the Indian Panzer has its ups uh, I'm not gonna say that the turret won't bounce because of the roundedness of the turret it bounces a lot the problem with the turret is the commander's hatch and it sticks out further around the sides than uh, the rest of the turret so it has that uh, we'll call it a manhole turret uh, manhole commander's hatch uh, so in turn you have that minor issue of it being easier to hit than uh, As you can see, uh, I'm trying to be smart. Super Persian, my gun is out. I'm trying to aim for the weak spots of the Super P. I actually hit one with a damaged gun. <clears throat> this crew has no skills on them. Okay, um, 
I wasn't planning on keeping it until uh, I had a discussion with one of our other um, clan mates about plausible. We were going over plausible medium tanks um, for uh, clan wars, tier 8 clan wars and stuff, uh, and because of the gun depression and the top and the speed with the top engine um, of the uh, Super P, uh, or not the Super P, the uh, Indian Panzer, it, it, it has come to see, as you can see there, I bounced the uh, Super uh, P shot. Um, <clears throat> Uh, it, it's come to find out that it, it, it makes for a decent <coughs> hill cruster. Um, kind of like the Pershing. It's actually a little bit better than the Pershing. Um, let's see, I bounced another Super P shot. As you can see, I'm aiming for weak points. Uh, I don't know what he's aiming for. Oh, he's taking my track out. If you're going to track me, I'm going to track him. <laughs> We're playing the tracking game now. Now the Jagtagger 88 is uh, actually focused in on helping me uh, since he took out the um, the other tank or the other tank pushed back uh, the Jag the Panther 88, which the Panther 88 is not a bad tank either, <clears throat> but it's a Panther, and every Panther that I've played um, really don't have a lot more armor than the Indian Panzer, uh, but has less gun depression. Um, I think it's like a, a seven. A, seven or eight degrees depression over a 10 which you know for hill cresting you want your gun depression um, as you see I'm the only man alive on this side and uh, I'm not going to you know play uh, against two tanks so I repair my gun get to a position where I can outspot them because I can out snipe both of those tanks uh, they both, the Jagtagger 88 might have a decent, the German 88 guns are alright, they're not the most accurate, um, especially the shorter barrel guns, it's, uh, if you ever look at the German guns, uh, for new players, you'll notice some of the guns, there's like three different, uh, 88s, um, the reason there's three different eights is you'll see like a 71, a 64, an L71, an L64, and an L like 100. Just using numbers. That L is the length. Um, the longer the barrel, the more accurate the gun is, um, <coughs> which makes a huge difference. Here the CDC wants to play, um, but which it has less armor than this. It does tend to bounce things, but. Um, getting into a position so I can take shots at him. As you can see, he rushed his shot. Uh, CDC does have a good rate of fire, but I can almost guarantee pen on every one of my shots as where he can't. Uh, as you can see, they took out the other uh, tank on this side, so uh, I'm just going to go over here and, you know, oh, there goes my freaking... Ammo rack, of course. And he tracked me, and my repair kit's done. And, of course, I'm going to die here unless I can get the shot off, and he bounces, which he does on the turret. <clears throat> and because of the freaking ammo rack, I, you know, I got killed. Um, he did get lucky in ammo racking me after I fixed my gun. Uh, he did, um, wow, I'm really not sure why the heck I'm getting that. It's should even showing my freaking filter, which I have the filter turns off. Um, but as you can see, I walked out with two kills. Uh, I got 2,861 damage and a 4,540 WN8. Um, because he was so worried about, you know, pedaling with me, if it wouldn't have got that lucky ammo wreck, uh, I would have actually got him killed, and we would have won much sooner. But, it happens. You know what I mean? So, it's one of those things. I think I backed out of the game because I was pretty sure we were going to win. It did end up in a win. Uh, I think I was, we, me and, uh, I was trying to grind times at this point in time, so I just got out. Uh... Uh, so you know, I don't see um, if it's a win or a loss, but uh, it was a win. Uh, I do know 